your girl Om Janaya and I'm back with another freaking video and as you guys can see by the title today I am doing my third Girl Talk Tuesdays. So my Girl Talks have actually been getting a little bit of views and stuff so I'm continuing them on my channel and I post them every Tuesday at 6 p.m. My shirt is from Feb 21. Go check out my haul in case in case you have not seen it. I'm gonna go off my notes as usual. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at IamJaniah and my other social media sites will be in the description box down below. Let's just get into the video. So excuse my voice, I'm not sick, but y'all know how like the seasons change and stuff and your sinuses just be messing up. That's what I got going on right now. First, I'm gonna go into self-confidence. Me, I've never really been not confident. I've always like known that I was pretty and stuff. Like, I didn't really care what people said. So I've never really had those problems. I had a, the problem once, but that's for another story time. But I can explain to y'all like how to not have those problems, I guess. I'm um, 120 on a good day and I'm 5'2", five, 5'3". Five, Whenever somebody sees me in person that they've only known me on social media, their first thing they say is, oh my gosh, you're so tiny. I don't really care. Like, I always tell myself like, it's many people who would love to be small like just think i could i could shop in the kids section i could do so many things that other people can't do and it's just i mean yeah i'm tiny so some people try to take advantage of that but i don't really let that get me down and stuff because i just don't to be confident you got to stop comparing yourselves to other people that's a problem that people tend to have comparing themselves to others because if you're constantly on Instagram like oh my gosh she's so pretty like I want to be her dang she has this but I don't have that don't compare yourselves to other people online there's a difference between oh my gosh I can't wait to be her when I'm older I can't have wait to have her lifestyle but that's fine like that's a role model but if you're sitting there like looking in the mirror and then looking at them like oh she has dimples oh her skin is this color oh her face is clear if you're sitting there comparing yourselves to another person that's not good and that's a why a lot of people are self-conscious about themselves so first you need to stop comparing yourself to other people do what you got to do delete your social media all of that stuff if that's what it takes because if you don't think that you're pretty how are you going to expect other people to think that you are? How are you going to attract someone to like you and all of that stuff? Well, that's really the first thing that you need to take care of and make sure that you're not doing it for other people. Like, if someone's like, oh, your butt is small, don't go get butt, like, don't go get your butt done just because somebody said that. Like, make sure everything that you're doing, you're doing for yourself. Be original. Don't, like I just said, don't try to be anybody else. I think I just covered that really, really good. So make sure you're being original. Don't be scared to start a new trend. Don't be scared to go try something new. Don't be scared to do anything really. Just if you think that it's gonna be cool or if you think that you're pretty with that or if you wanna start something, then do it. Don't be scared, be original, be yourself and don't try to copy other people. Because if you're, like I said, if you're sitting here trying to copy somebody else, Everybody is either gonna call you out for it or you're not gonna be successful with it. Oh, you're trying to be so-and-so. You're trying to be her. It's 2019. Be comfortable in your own skin. Do y'all see my wrist? Okay, look. Y'all see how tiny my wrist is? I don't know if you can tell on camera, but like my wrist is very, very tiny. You don't see me like trying to cover my wrist. You don't see me wearing long sleeves. You don't see me wearing bracelets and all of that to cover my wrist. Like, it's just certain stuff that you don't see me doing. Like, be confident in your own skin. Like, okay, I have tiny wrists. I will continue to wear what I want to wear. Also, if you guys want to try to get your confidence up, you could, like, go on Pinterest. I will have my Pinterest on the screen in the description box down below. And there are plenty quotes for you guys to look at on Pinterest. Plenty. That will help you be confident. That will help you... Want to be successful that'll help you strive to do what you want to do There are plenty of quotes on Pinterest and I'm gonna display some of them on the screen Basically the biggest quote that helps me get by is The best revenge is massive success because people talk about me every single day People come for me every single day people want to fight me every single day But I just remember not to entertain that not to let that get me down and I try to stay confident because at the end of the day, I'm gonna be successful one day and they're gonna be mad. Just remember the biggest 
revenge is massive success that is like my quote that's my go-to quote i love that quote so much so that's another way i stay confident looking at quotes and stuff because it's just like that's really what keeps me going a lot of the quotes that i like come from the bible a lot of lot come from pinterest like i already said but it's just many quotes y'all should really download pinterest or sprinkle of jesus or there's many apps that'll send you a quote like daily in order to just keep you going um a lot of things people have like confidence issues with besides like body a lot of people have problems with their face like acne now i just covered um that in my last girl talk so click here if you have not seen it but guys you guys can mask mask are really good self-care that can really just help you a lot and when you're on a schedule like keeping your room clean masking hair that really helps you just become more confident in my opinion like if i have a schedule of when i'm gonna do my face face routine when i'm gonna clean my room i just feel so put together and i feel so organized and i feel like i'm just like the best so now that i've kind of discussed like self-confidence and stuff you guys can comment more questions down below in case i didn't really answer your question i'll be happy to answer them and you guys can also snapchat me and dm me and i try to respond to you guys all the time and i have full-on conversations with some of y'all if you guys have a question about something so don't be scared to like dm me or something and ask like about self-confidence everything is confidential how to get your crush to like you is kind of the second part of this video so like i said the main thing is to remember to be yourself don't and try to impress them like don't go out of your way dressing different because that's not you don't do anything to your body because that's not you mostly i can easily say that boys probably like stuff that's natural like if you're not natural then they're probably not gonna like you or if you're doing the most then they're not gonna like you i found that a lot if you're not yourself they're not gonna like you like just the i know you guys probably hear this all the time that's probably why not why why you did i'm not saying that right that's probably not the real reason you clicked on this video to hear this but that's really the main thing and i'm gonna say be yourself and i know people probably tell y'all that all the time but really it's kind of hard to be someone that you're not like you don't want to get them if you're not getting them for the real reason of being yourself if they don't like you because you're yourself then chances are y'all aren't gonna last and you really shouldn't try to be them we be with them because imagine being with somebody 24 7 because chances are it's gonna be someone you talk to all the time 24 7 25 8 if you have to be someone else just so they'll like you then y'all should not be together at all so i mean i will give you guys pointers that you can actually change to help all of us out um dang it's raining if y'all hear something in the background it's rain so really hygiene that's something that you could change about yourself have a better hygiene um personality is another good thing like don't have attitude all the time me i need to work on that because i know it pisses people off and it drives people away from me but at the end of the day if you're not gonna like me for me then i don't really care fix your attitude um i'm not gonna really say too much about dress code because i mean yeah you can present yourself better like you know try to be cute some days but make sure that you're okay with it make sure you're doing it for you at the end of the day so there's not really too many pointers i can really give you guys on how to like you it really just falls into play of confidence first because if you're confident it makes other people believe that you're right like okay in class for example a teacher will ask me a question and if i'm confident with my answer like da -da -da -da, they're gonna be like yes and they're gonna be like wait no that's wrong because if you sounded confident when you said it and you believe that it's true then they're gonna believe that it's true so if you believe and you're not letting people like think like know that you are unhappy with yourself then other people are always going to come for you saying that you're unhappy with yourself that's why a lot of people bully because they see that you're unhappy with yourself or they're mad that you have something that they don't so this whole question like you thing is really getting off topic but at the same time it's going to help you guys in the long run because my biggest thing is don't try to be someone you're not to get someone else to like you make sure that you have a lot of self-love before you get into a relationship so if you guys want to see a girl talk on how like to keep a relationship or something along those lines of relationship i could just call it relationships and i could give y'all like pointers on it and stuff then vote right here on my poll say yes or no whatever 
and yeah so guys that concludes this girl talk tuesday thank you guys for staying tuned make sure you guys share these girl talks because i feel like they can help a lot of people give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel become a part of omg squad we about to hit 7k I'm striving for 10k and 25k at the end of 2019 if you guys need something to wear for valentine's day i made a lookbook last year so you guys can click right here to go look at my valentine's day lookbook and follow me on my social media sites um i do have a p.o box in case some of you guys do not know it's linked in the description box down below but i'll see you guys on thursday I upload saturdays tuesdays and thursdays at 6 p.m eastern times turn on your notifications so you can be notified when i post bye guys